Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. I thought I would uh, do something fun for you, and since you can't go anywhere right now, nowhere fun anyway, and really walk around, I thought I would take you through a little trip through the Guggenheim Museum since you've been here a long time. So I'm going to take you for a little tour, show you some art, and uh, maybe you can, you know, find something you like and put it in the house, whatever. Just let me know. Here we are looking at Pablo Picasso which he did this in 1901, so he was uh, 20 years old. Pretty impressive for a 20 year old. I love the orange and the blue and the gray and the green together. Nice color combos. Abraham likes those colors. It's a two-part series here. This one and this one. This is from Edouard Vuillard. Not so familiar. This is another Picasso. Not my favorite Picasso, but very serene-looking lady here. I think it's a lady. Yes. Then this one in 1905. Young guy when he did a lot of his art. Oh yeah, here. Oh, this is an this is a famous one, a woman ironing. All right. Look at here. This is Picasso from 2000. So he was again 19 years old. Pretty prolific in his 20s, 19. Oh, this is a great Monet. This is an Edward Monet, different, different artist. You guys know that. And I think the same lady here, looking in the mirror. This is Degas, Edward Degas, Edgar Degas. I like this painting, I don't know who did it, I'll tell you in a sec. Renoir, Pierre Augusta Renoir, painted in 1871, woman with a parakeet. Henri de Toulouse Lautrec. This is Renoir. No, Rousseau. Sorry. Henri Rousseau. Tells you what I know. This is a Van Gogh, if there ever was one. And this is from 1889. From the Netherlands. This is... Paul Guggen. Same artist. Oh, this one's cool. This is also Henry Rousseau.
George's Brach. I don't know this guy, but I like that painting. <laughs> Here's old my friend Pablo here. Sorry about switching the angles, but Bird on a Tree, 1928, late in his career. Or late for the stuff they have here anyway. Trying to shoot people's faces so they don't feel uncomfortable here. Here we go. Camilla Casero? Who's that? Oh, this is his on. Paul is on. This is that other artist I just mentioned. This is also a Cezanne. <laughs> this is Vasily Kandinsky. Give you guys quick views here of the uh, installations. Do the fast walk for these. Interesting, huh? Not sure what's going on there. This one I found a little bewildering. It's kind of a bunch of stuff stacked up. I didn't really know what it was. I'm gonna shoot down a little so you guys don't have to check out all the other patrons here. Oh yeah, we forgot the inside wall here. Edward Monet, this is a Monet. These dancers, I think these are uh, from uh, Degas, right? Edward Degas, these are his girls. Yeah. Answers. And one more view of the oh look the gift shop. That's about as much as the gift shop as I like to see. There you go. I think they make you leave to the gift shop here. Just interesting. Go back and give you a little shot of the old Frank Lloyd Wright building here. Back here in the grand installation. I'm going to have to send you guys a link for this. And so that's the the fine art, and now we're going to go to the ever-moving installations here at the museum. So here we have, these are all interesting, these are all from sort of poverty type shots of folks That's a nice one. This one I like too. Let's get down. All right. Here we have a very interesting installation. It's sort of got a Harry Potter thing going. If there were people down there, you would realize how tall these are. They're actually huge. They're like 
12 feet tall. And they sort of look like ghosts, spirits of some sort. The museum's getting bigger than when I first got here. I mean, busier. Frank Lloyd Wright building there. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think of that, Dad? You like that one? Let me get in there for you. Nice, huh? I like that one. Uh, there we have the cafeteria. These are quite dark, but maybe you can see them. They're really interesting. By a Detroit born artist, I think. Oh, I like this one. I'm not sure what's going on here, but she's got some hair on her. This one I feel like I can do my own version of. Interesting. Oh, these are cool. These are like metallic, metallic paintings. There's the eye in the sky. Man, they built this building right for a security camera, didn't they, Dad? Look at that. One security camera probably covers the whole building. For all the installations, anyway. I'm not sure what's going on here. These are like frocks. That's a modern art piece of definite coolness. I'm just going to take you through this quick because I really like this guy's stuff here. That's on wood. Here, you can pause this if you want to see what he's all about. Charles White. All right, we're going up. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. this here yeah she's got two heads two uh, two pictures on top of each other some interesting stuff going up I'm gonna go quickly through here You're getting to see everything playing at the Guggenheim, Dad. I hope this is worth it. I hope you're enjoying. What do we got here? Daywood Bay, 1953 from New York. 2017 series, The Night Comes Tenderly Black. Interesting. Oh, wow. I don't know how long you can watch this for without having a seizure, but definite modern. <laughs> okay, we're looking at some interesting installation here. 
feel free to pause that if you want. Close for you. Stephanie Sijuko. This one over here was by Stephanie Sijuko. David Hammond, 1943, from Springfield, Illinois, home of Abraham Lincoln. I like this stuff. Pretty hardcore. All right. Where are we? John Edmonds from Washington, D.C. Very dark. Hard to see, even for me in life. Pretty color. That's another Shizuko. Oh, here, here we got the, the Way of Motion. This is the installation here. I don't know what you're looking at there. There you go. Thing's huge. Not sure what's going on with that. Shaniqua Smith, 1971, New York. I think that's part of the installation there. Take you up this way. This is a nice way to walk up. See everything. 